Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Rogue Trader with me, Bring It Down. Let's level up and head towards Vivo 6. So we get a special ability. I haven't invested a lot of toughness on my main character, but I think I'm going to go with upgrade 3 anyway. Because it won't be a lot of damage reduction, but it's still damage reduction. And Abelard will get the first two upgrades, making him more of an individual tank, where my character is more of a support tank, being an officer turned vanguard. So until the end of combat, all allies in a 3 cell radius around the vanguard suffer less damage. Pretty straightforward. I am Irliot. So I don't think she needs upgrade 3 since she's a sniper. Upgrade 1 is really good for boss fights and upgrade 4 is good for mobs. And boss fights usually have adds so I think I'll go with upgrade 4 since it should be more universally useful. So if the dispatch attack kills a target, all enemies in a 3 self radius around the target gain plus 2 stacks of the disturbed effect. It must pass an agility resistance test or become staggered for one round. And disturbed, a disturbed character suffers a minus 10 penalty to willpower and fellowship for each stack of this effect. And staggered, a staggered character suffers a minus 20 penalty to weapon skill, ballistic skill, strength, toughness, and agility. Alright, Cassia. Let's do upgrade 2. Orchestrated Firestorm and Last Volley can be used multiple times per combat, once per turn. And upgrade 4 for this. So the maximum number of action points t granted by Take and Hold is increased to 5. I think upgrade 2. So to the end of combat, every attack grants a stacking plus 2% bonus to critical hit chance. And Ablard will get upgrade 2 for Unyielding Guard. So to the start of the Vanguard's next turn, each attack made by the Vanguard makes them a priority target for the enemy hit by that attack. And we'll also grab this for Heinrichs. It's still feel like upgrade 2 is far better than upgrade 1. 
boosting offensive ability is much better than uh, boosting defensive ability. We'll stretch our legs before we reach Vibo 6. Okay, now I'm really riled up. I need a foothold. As the Emperor commands, I act. I'll do it. That'll work. Doubt is for the weak. Escape the Emperor's judgment. <laughs> For the throne's glory. Nothing stands against me. The Imperium is weak. Say so, buddy. I'll put my psychic abilities to use. Good to 
setting him up for the future, and... Oh yeah, this guy. <laughs> I've suffered worse. Victory is imminent. It will be done. Focus, Van Kalox. Focus. Alright, Heinrichs is over there, so I really don't need anyone else over there to help out. Explore to stone one route. Forward. Running by Narek override. Don't get too cocky. This battlefield air is good for my lungs. Uh, too bad I never leave debts unpaid. Hit both, unfortunately. I'll do it. I'll probably knock this one prone. to it but of course Lord Captain that was a pretty good chunk I'm a member. your reckoning is due a little nervous there because I misclicked Get me a target. Let's see to it. Nothing stands against me. The Inquisition sends their regards. I'm a member. Uh, stop hitting me, Ashmark. And Heinrichs is still proving his worth. In case anyone is having misgivings about having an Inquisitor on board, it's worth it. <laughs> Lord Captain, we've cross-referenced the key characteristics of the system with our astronautical chart data. The planet Vibo 6 is located here. The problem is... The augers detect an unusual change in the atmosphere, not unlike a massive release of toxins. It appears that something unfortunate has happened to the planet's underground storage facilities. It is impossible to land safely on the planet just now. Unknown ships are cruising in the system. Hmm. No need for any cog to analyze it. I can decipher this telemetry easily. Xenos. The armory and artillery crews are standing by. Let's quick save and then beat up some Drukhari, who are probably the most annoying enemies to face. That that yeah, they have that inherent dodge chance. 
from what, 25% to 75%? I stand ready to serve you and the Imperium. Is it a dodge Lord chance Captain. or is it a, uh, just a mischance? Yeah, a penalty to hit. It's not even a dodge chance. Only two ships, though. Let me beat up two ships. The force of a supernova. Make every shot count. So they still have their shadow field up. But it's not showing on the uh the model. Land batteries, volley! I wrap the spectacle of their glitter. Blessed are the faithful. Well that was surprisingly easy. But again, the last time we fought the Jukari, it was just a little too difficult. <laughs> Alright, Vibo 6. Hits a Vibo 6. The Imperium is laughably unoriginal in its educational methods. Corrective labor in the mines. Places like this show mercy to no one, adult or child. These transgressors ought to be weeping in gratitude for being given a chance to atone through hard labor. The man's body is frozen in an unnatural pose. The corpse's fingers are crooked and its teeth are bared in a ghastly grimace. The bodies have been twisted into a pose resembling a servile bell and bound with barbed wire. Yeah, so the Jakari got a hold of these guys. They did not meet a 
a great end. Spank clawed at his throat right before he died. Jakari are not extreme sadists, and... Con they don't conquer planets, they raid planets, and they use terror, torture, basically any evil deed you can imagine to do so. And it's also how they sustain themselves, through torture. <laughs> and uh, being hedonists, but like, hedonists to an extreme example. It's less... Happiness is the uh, the end goal, and it's more, I like to hurt every, everything. Uh, the broken, slashed, and gutted body still covered with the shreds of a planetary warden uniform. The caustic ooze gives off a sickening vapor that eats away at the lining of your nose and mouth, making your eyes water. You can clearly see several thin cuts left by bladed weapons on the body. Look at it. Where do they get all this stuff? Who are they? The Dark Ones found the governor at last. Let's see what that guy said. The tall, lithe Xenos moves with the grace of an otherworldly predator. The creature gives you a dispassionate glance and casually speaks a few words that are immediately picked up by your elucidator. The Candace, Aelith, what is this? As one of the sisters found an amusing trinket in the ruins and saved it as a special treat for the Archon. The Xenos takes a quick look over her shoulder for the platform where a few more silhouettes in tar black armor can be seen. Henrix narrows his eyes and gives the Xenos an appraising look. The Jukari of this breed are known as witches. Do or, sorry, Donald. Uh, they are experts at bloodletting in the arenas and on the battlefield. However, I am more interested in the ones skulking in the shadows. Judging by their armor, they are high-ranking representatives of a cabal. A military clique from the Jukari uh, domain. It seems we have disrupted a vile performance for their distinguished guests. Alright, attack. Death to Xenos. Zara takes a step back just as the other fighters charge with furious howls. I'll make an example out of you. The yeah, witches are basically really good gladiators. That's the gist of it. I'll see to it personally. Am I getting paid for this? Tell me and it is done. I can do that, with the right incentive. My vow is to serve. The Omnissiah condemns you. So what do they do? Let's get to it. A power from pain. Jukari gains plus three strength, plus three willpower, and plus one temporary wound for each creature suffering burning, bleeding, stunned, or toxic effects in a five cell radius. A pirouette. Tell me what it does. Exhilarating speed. The creature's MP have been increased until the end of combat. Current MP zero. And burning touch of the warp. 
Whenever the Jakari suffer warp damage or are affected by psychic powers, they cannot use power from pain and lose all bonuses of this ability for two rounds. So the Jakari... I mean, they're Eldar, but they're Dark Eldar. And they've also stopped using uh, psychic abilities because it draws the attention of Slanesh. And instead, what they do is they try to out hedonist Slanesh. And that's why they torture and practice all sorts of excess. So they don't like the warp, they don't like psychic powers. As the Emperor commands, I act. <laughs> Um, actually, I want her to go this way. Faith without deeds is worthless. I'll do it. Each strike is a prayer. Emperor's judgment. I won't object to it. Naturally. Someone's death wish is mine to grant. You will not withstand For my the vengeance. Throne's glory. I'm not too worried about your vengeance, I won't buddy. Object. Let's see to it. Not too worried about it at all. I won't object to it. For the throne's glory. Silent fresh. Hi, gunslinger out gunslung. Tactically sound approach. Indeed. You've got a problem. I've got a price. Let the All right, let's try this. Continued. Are they in range? They are. 
The Omnissiah knows all. Comprehend. Get the true master. Inflict the pain. My soul hunger um, beckons. Unbearably painful. Doubt is for the weak. As the Emperor commands. I'm bored of this farce, Tazara. Who rules this arena? You're the Monkai. Archon Aramiris. Archon Marazai. You know the danger of repeating this misunderstanding. Alright, your word is our command, Archon Aramiris. They're talking a little too fast. Let's see to it. Naturally, I'm done with this one. Keep your wits about you. All right, nothing to it. Keep that. Uh, a lot of these, so we'll just send it to cargo. I always have a backup plan. Rise to the top, or get left in the dust. Uh, I don't know if we've seen this before, but it grants uh, plus 10% armor if the wearer is in half cover. But not full cover, which is, is a little silly. To be made? Uh, the man died clutching his intestines as they spilt from his lacerated stomach. The body was partially flayed, and judging by the amount of blood, the victim was still alive when it happened. Always keep your eye on the price. The body's missing parts of its extremities. It was hacked to pieces with dozens of strikes. Keep your wits about you. Well, looks like we have a little bit to explore here, possibly. But I'm gonna call it here for now, and next time we'll finish exploring this area, and I guess return to Dargonus. But for now, thanks for watching. Hope to see you guys in the next one.